Hello friends, in this lecture we shall discuss Deferred Payment Guarantee. In short we call it DPG. Friends, just imagine firm XYZ wants to purchase some machinery or some equipment for technology upgradation. What could be the possible sources for purchase of such machinery or such equipment? The possible resources can be the firm can use its own capital to purchase this machinery. Alternatively, it can raise bank loan plus it can use a part of its own capital to purchase this machinery. And there could be another option that is installment payments offered by seller against bank guarantee. The seller is ready to get the payment in installments but against bank guarantee. Friends, this type of guarantee is called deferred payment guarantee. Deferred payment guarantee is a bank guarantee and it is used to purchase capital equipment. Capital equipment like machinery, like equipment. So when these type of assets are purchased to be purchased, then one of the facility which banks provide is called deferred payment guarantee. In a deferred payment guarantee, there are four parties. So these four parties are, one is applicant, that is the buyer. Second is beneficiary of the guarantee, that is this seller. Third is the applicant bank, the bank which issues this guarantee. And th fourth is the bank of beneficiary, so beneficiary's bank. So in a deferred payment guarantee, normally there are four parties. What is the mechanism? Friends, Buyer want to buy machinery which seller is ready to provide on installment payment basis. Buyer makes down payment of 10 to 15 percent and for the balance amount, for amount of each installment plus interest, the seller draws separate periodical use answer bills, normally half yearly to cover the entire installment period. Let us say the seller here is ready to get this payment in 5 years on half yearly installment basis. So seller will draw usance bills, bill of exchange and these bill of exchange will cover different installments plus interest. These bills are accepted by this buyer and these are co-accepted by buyer's bank. And once these are accepted by buyer's bank, then these bills get better credit rating and the seller is able to discount these bills with its bank. Hence, the beneficiary, the seller can discount these bills at a better price. On due date, the seller's bank will present the bills to buyer's bank for payment and buyer's bank will make payment by recovering the amount from buyer. And in case buyer fails to make the payment, the bank has to make the payment which it will recover later. We can also say the deferred payment guarantee is a contingent liability for the bank because as long as the buyer is able to make the payment, buyer is making the payment of those bills of exchange which he has accepted, the bank will not be asked to make the payment. But if he fails to make the payment, then bank will be asked to make the payment. Now, if we see it carefully, 
deferred payment guarantee and term loan. These are given almost for the same purpose. That is to purchase capital equipment. Hence, the appraisal of loans in case of DPG or term loan is similar because these are issued for the same purpose that is purchase of capital equipment. What is difference between deferred payment guarantee and term loan? The difference primarily relates to the funds outlay. In case of a term loan, the funds outlay is immediate. In case of deferred payment guarantee, the funds involvement is contingent. In case of deferred payment guarantee, the banks earn commission because it is non-fund based business. In case of term loan, the banks get interest because it is a funded expo here. Well friends, I am sure the contents of this video will benefit you. Thank you for watching the video.